then just bring your chin up just a little bit. There it is. <laughs> can you point to where you said like the neck pin usually is? Okay, and then is this where it pops? Yeah. Okay, can you kind of move your neck where you feel like it usually pops? You hear it? No, actually. Oh, is it? it's like, so it's a little bit higher yeah. where it pops there. Okay, I can feel a little bit on that. And so it's only to the one side when you turn to your... Yep. Okay. Yeah, the other way doesn't matter. Okay. So the popping usually occurs more upwards, mm -hmm. but usually when you do feel more discomfort, it's a little bit lower mm -hmm. in terms of that. Okay. So that makes sense, especially with your spine, how it curves up more on the top, um, but then it straightens out on the lower part of the neck. Yeah. So we're going to probably look at what's going on here. Um, then the lower back, you said, where does that usually occur again? Right there. Right up to that side there. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's get you scan. Let's see what's going on here. And chin down just a little bit here. So we definitely have stress on that lower part of the neck here. And then. Have you ever had any injuries in wrestling when you were in high school? No, actually. No, no, no broken bones, nothing. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of wondering what may have happened to your neck. Because I know, like, in wrestling, they'll do, like, those neck bridges and stuff like that. Um, where you're on your back and you're trying to bridge with the neck. Right. Chin down a little bit. There you go. Two. Three. Okay, so there's that three. Left side. Right side. Any soreness there? No. Okay. Yeah, so that doesn't move very well right there on that left side. Here's seven. Eight. Seven, six. Any swarms on those? Um, little six, on seven. Seven right there? Yeah. yeah. All right, so again, you have six lumbar, so this is going to be your L6, mm -hmm. L5, six, five. Any pain there? No pain, just okay. stiff. All right, and I'm going to tilt you really far back here. There's your five, and then your six. Oh, yeah. yeah, that one for sure. Yeah, your tailbone. Yeah. Which is the worst of the two? Six. That's one. I would probably say equal between one and six. Between one and six there? Yeah. Yeah. Again, that's where it's pinching down on that back. So usually when it pinches down like that, it's because it shifts back. And when it shifts back, then it's going to cause that to pinch into the back of the joint. So we're going to try to push that forward and get pressure off of there. And again, so that when you do that flexion, those lines should flare out like this. You can see C6 here just stays pretty parallel. So it doesn't allow it to bend forward here. So we're going to do C6 there. Seven, six right there. Okay. And just put your hands palms facing up onto the lap there. Bring your feet out just in front of you onto the heels. There you go. Just like that. Relax your chin just right there. So all I'm going to do, I want a little bit of a push just like that. I hear a little bit of a popping noise here. Okay. All right, so as you relax in that shoulder, a little bit of a push just like that. And then just bring your chin up just a little bit. There it is. Nice and easy on that. All right. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right, scoot forward just a little bit. Let's get you on your right shoulder for me. Okay. Now I'm going to roll you quite a bit. I'm not going to twist or crank on your spine. I'm just going to roll you the whole way as a, as a whole unit here. And pin down onto the pelvis, relax in that shoulder. A little bit of a push right there. There you go. Good. Nice. Oh, good job. All right, coming up. All right, let's get you on this table. All right, so this one, bring your chin up just a little bit. There you go. All right, there's good. Breathing in again. Let it go. Drop in the shoulders. There it is. Alright. Alright. That one looked really good on that one. How are you feeling? Good. You doing alright? Yeah, great. Alright, good. Alright, good. So this is already starting to look a little bit better here. 
So, I'm not expecting a miracle. I don't expect your spine to dissolve and go back into where it needs to be, but I want you to just move your neck a little bit. I want to see how that's feeling. How's it feel? That's good. All right, man. Things are looking good. Okay, so the first thing that we did was your lower back. Um, on the mid back here, we did your T7. That's going to be this one right over here. And again, this is what's causing your spine to go up this way, and then it's kind of kinking its way back over here. But we got pressure off of that, so then that way we can try to get some of the positioning back where it needs to be on that one too. Um, the last one, which is probably going to be the one that's most significant for you, um, your spine has that tendency to go to that left side. I'm trying to get that to come back towards the center here, okay? But in regards to the motion here, again, you're gonna notice that the restriction that you have on that C6 does not allow it to move the way it's supposed to. Um, and again, so we're trying to get that positioning to where it needs to be, um, but we're trying to reinstall movement back into that joint as well, okay? So let's see how that does. Um, now you might feel some soreness with the joint. So when you start to feel any soreness because we move those joints where they need to be, um, your body's not used to that. So when it does get back into position, um, the body is going to respond to that. So it can start to feel a little soreness, a little achiness. Ice is your best friend. Okay. okay. Um, 15, 20 minutes can ice pack, paper towel around it, ice where you need to be. Um, the other thing is, is uh, do you typically have a, a workout routine? Are you running right now at all or nothing? No. Okay. I mean, I'm not a routine okay okay well walking at least that's the best form of exercise right now okay. especially for the first couple of weeks i want you to get some movement get some uh, mobility into the joints so then again we're trying to push out some of the inflammation but the walking will allow that joint to shift and move and change the rest of the structure so i know we didn't feel much change in the upper joints right now but over time as we continue to work on that that should help to alleviate some of that stress up there Okay. okay. Um, and then that's pretty much it, man. Um, any questions for me? Anything I shouldn't do um, exercise-wise? The biggest thing I will tell you is not exercise-wise, um, cell phone-wise. If you are on your cell phone quite a bit, I do notice that you have a tendency to look down about a lot. So with that cell phone, ideally I want you to bring up the cell phone up towards your face here. So whether put your elbow into your side and then you can take notes or write or text or whatever it is, just try to avoid it going down like this. Okay. That's going to put a lot of strain on there. So ideally I want to keep your face looking up so then that way you're taking off some of the stress there. That's the only thing I'd recognize right now at least, um, but we'll kind of catch things on uh, later on as we continue with the care. Okay. But if I want to run, I can run. You can. I would just say, like, let's say, like, 100% is like your high intensity level. I would say keep it at like 60, maybe 70% of your intensity. Got it. Okay. Cool. All right, man. But have it the opposite. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks again. I, I really appreciate you here, man. Um, yeah, I'm very thankful for you. So we'll see how we can help you out. But I'm pretty comfortable. We get some good results right now.